You killed my father! Moo! Welcome everybody to Star Ocean part number 31. And we've come into Inos, or Enos, or whatever it is. It's on the, uh, it's in the country of Van. And I'm Cow's Crazy, by the way. And we hit an instant private action the second you walk in. This little boy is not happy with Eris. Is that the Deathwing? How terrifying. She doesn't even look like she could hurt a fly. Don't you think we ought to call the Night Corps? I better do something, or I'll wait and see what happens. Um, <laughs> I think you better do something, you know, waiting to see what happens. That just, that's just not right. Stop it! You've got the wrong idea! She was manipulated by demons! Forget about it, Roddick. This crime, I'm going to have to face it sooner or later. I was responsible for the deaths of many, many people. You have every right to hate me. But killing me wouldn't change anything. I'm going to defeat the Archfiend and bring peace back to the world. It's the only way I can atone for what I've done. <laughs> Yes, that's the way to atone. Kill someone else. That is the way you get it done. Killing her won't help. Killing someone else will. Thank you for supporting me, Roddick. Ah, no problem. It's not a big deal. Anyways, there's a couple more private actions here to do in Enos or Inos or whatever the hell this city's called. So I'll be right back. Moo. Poor Eris. What's she doing in the alley? Oh, sorry to startle you. No, it's okay. I was sent here on a few missions, back when I was still called Deathwing. I'm afraid what would happen if anyone remembered me. It's making me very anxious. Uh, somebody just did remember you, but... Oh well. <laughs> I've decided to atone for my crimes. But hiding like this makes me feel so pathetic. You're not pathetic. You're always trying to shoulder all of the burden by yourself, Eris. Can't you at least let me help you with some of the weight for a change? <laughs> You're very kind, Roddick. Stop! Ha! <laughs> Isha was flying. Yoshua. Yoshua. Sorry, I keep mispronouncing his name. It's an I. I don't, I'm not used to calling it a J. What's the matter, Yoshua? Everything is the matter. As long as I still breathe, even before that, we still have a mission to fulfill. We cannot afford to sit here idly over inconsequential matters. Look, Yoshua, you've got the wrong idea here. <laughs> he thinks uh, 
Roddick's hidden on his sister, huh? <laughs> Go hidden on people's sisters, you know? What's not, uh. It's not a good thing. <laughs> but, anyways, um, there might be one more private action here, so I'll be right back. Moo. Moo K. Um, there wasn't any more private actions at Enos or Inos. I thought there was gonna be another one involving the maid that we saw in the last episode, but, um, it wouldn't trigger, and I don't know why. Eh. It could be anything. It could be the party, it could be how much skill points I have, it could be how far I am into the story. There's all sorts of different reasons why a private action will or will not trigger. So now we're here at the, um, the, the Castle of Van. We're gonna go inside here. I can't even do the private actions I wanted to do here because, well, there's story to be done. So let's get back on with the main quest. Continue the main quest. We got all the emblems now. You just gotta go visit the king. Tell him, look at, look at, we've, we've gotten them all, you know? We're top notch. We're top of the line. Let us see the king, please. No, no, I will not let you in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Yes, sir, Mr. Ronix. Please wait one moment. Right this way. It would appear that you have met with all the kings in the land. Yes, your majesty. We learned of the Mua's past from the king of Mua, a cryptic set of phrases from the king of Astral, and the location of the hidden entrance to the demon world from the king of Silvalent. I see. And you have received emblems from all of these kings as proof? We have, your majesty. Then it is time for you to visit the Purgatorium. The Purgatorium? We didn't find anything the first time we visited. Well, we found three spirited sisters that weren't too happy to see us. Ah, so you have been there before. Well then, no need for any explanation. Head for the Purgatorium as soon as possible. As soon as possible would be... right now. Unless, of course, they let me do the private actions that I want to do. And we'll try that. So... Boo. I'll meet you in the next private action. Moo K, we're in the skill guild. Talk to Ashley. You're at Van. Pardon me if this is too personal a question, Roddick. But what does the path of a swordsman mean to you? What is it that drives you to keep swinging your sword? Um, the fact that I might die if I don't swing my sword? <laughs> When I first started, I think I just wanted to be like my father. And when my father died, I kept it up because I didn't want to let my mother down. Gradually, I wanted to become stronger for the sake of everyone around me. The desire to grow stronger is an important thing. It's what drives you to refine and improve your skills. But what do you think you'll do once you reach the highest level possible? By the way, the highest level possible in this game is, I think, well into around the 200 range, so... Yeah, you're probably not gonna get there, even if you complete the bonus dungeon, which I have never ever done, and I probably won't be doing for this LP, but, um, yeah. So, now you get, um, some questions here. There's never really an end. Um, here's your first one. I'd entrust it to someone else, or... I'd serve as a role model. Now, the way you answer here is very important because you can get some special skills to help you on in the game. 
So, um, I believe what you want to do is tell him that there's never really an end. The path never really ends like that, does it? A never-ending path? If you keep thinking you're only halfway there, then that means there will always be room for improvement. So, what does strength mean to you? Now, here's question number two. The power to protect my friends, the power to defeat my enemies, or the power to build my character? Um, I believe the correct answer is the last one. The power to build my character. He will really appreciate this. It's what I need to stay on the right path. I want it to become the bond that keeps me disciplined. If those bonds are weakened and my heart is corrupted, then my swordsmanship is nothing more than a form of violence. I believe that if you do not keep your heart and soul on the correct path, then you have no right to bear a sword. Hmm. When enough of them come together, even drops of water can move mountains. Strength is not merely power, but also the compass that guides that power. Mind over matter, as they say. Keep your head focused on the correct path. The tree of power cannot grow unless it is firmly rooted in your heart. Just try not to be as hard on others as you are on yourself, all right? It'll turn you into a cranky old man like me. Hmm, is that it? Or do we have to talk to him again? Don't worry about it. I apologize for bothering you. Huh, I thought... I swore there was a third choice, actually. But, um... That kind of sucks. But anyways... Maybe I, maybe I screwed that up. It's quite possible I screwed that up. Hopefully I didn't. Anyways, um, I think there might be another private action here. Moo. Moo, okay. And it looks like the women are inside the inn. Let's see what they're up to. So, that's the way it is. Totally! So, what do you think? <laughs> that goes without saying. What the heck are they talking about? No boys allowed. Sorry. This isn't anything important, trust me. What could they possibly be talking about? No, I wasn't listening to you. Would you like to join in on this, Erotic? Um... I was, I was hoping to, but I don't know really what you were talking about. So let's see what Ishua knows. But he doesn't know anything. I wonder what the girls were talking about. We might never know. I've never seen that particular private action before either. Let's see if there's another one. Moo. Thank you for saving me. Oh, don't worry about it. I know all about how evil the demons can be. But... I owe you my life. Not only that, you also gave me the will to live again. All I did was share a bit of ancient lore with you. Of course, if you're still looking like that, the lore may have been a little off. No, it was completely accurate. I was able to switch, but now I'm back to my original body. Well, you look like you're brimming with life now, far more than you were before. Is that how I look now? It seems we were both very lucky to have run into each other. Oh, yes! Well, I had best get back to work.
Eris, was that symbologist the one who saved your life? Yes. He's an extremely talented symbologist. And he's really nice, too. Did you like him? Well, he's a really great guy. I've just always thought he was out of my league. Huh. Guess the best I can do is second place, then. <laughs> You'd have to learn Symbology first. I'll let you know when I do. <laughs> so we're out of kidding on Eris again? Don't want to piss Millie off. Or Yoshua, holy cow. Saw that earlier. Um, I'll be right back if there's another private action. Moo. Moo K, okay, we're back, and Millie and Eris are up here in this raised square, so let's go see what they're up to. What are you two up to? Oh, Roddick! We were just talking about how beautiful the leaves are. Strange, isn't it? Some of the leaves turn red, but some of them are yellow instead. Yeah, I never really thought about it, but it is kind of strange. <laughs> I like the red ones. Too bad they don't come in pink. Wait a second. Or, f or say, figures, she'd say pink. <laughs> so, I think you want to say figures, she'd say pink. <laughs> There she goes again. Are you picking on me? Oh, no, not at all. It's just cute is all. Aw, oh, cute's a good word, I think. But then again, I'm not so great with the ladies either. Maybe she'll get mad. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, what kind of color do you like, Eris? Me? Hmm. How about... Maybe white? It would make this place look like it was out of a fairy tale. Wow. That would be incredible. Yeah. I bet it'd look like snowfall once they all fell to the ground. White is nice, but I think gray would be the best. Gray? You don't hear people saying that's their favorite color very often. Oh? I think gray is wonderful! Wow. Eris is a little... dark, isn't she? <laughs> Seeing monsters turn to ashes at your feet is just so refreshing! <laughs> wow, um... There's the ashes again. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Moo. Moo K, we're back in Silverland. And you can see Millie going into the, uh, into the inn. Let's follow her in and, uh, see what's going on. Hi, Judy, how have you been? Oh, Millie, it's you! You still a good boy? Not causing any trouble for your mother? Of course not. I never get into any trouble. You haven't had anything bad happen to you traveling with these guys, have you? You welcome back here any time, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Aw, Millie misses them. Isn't that sweet? So that's just a sweet little private action. And in the next episode, I believe we will head off to the Purgatorium. And we'll go see what those spirit sisters have to say about the Eye of Truth now. So until then, everybody, I've been Cows Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And of course, Moo!